When you see this battle of finances, the inflation is kicking everybody's tail. We're recruiting people to that purpose. We're recruiting people not only to be an insurance agent, not only to be an insurance agency builder. We're recruiting people to the fact that they're solving a problem in America today that sadly no politician is ever going to fix. Or if they try to put policy to eventually fix it, it's going to be years from now. Meanwhile, today, we still got to pay our bills. Meanwhile, today, we got to still put a roof over our heads. Meanwhile, today, I can put food on the table and put my kids to the best opportunities in school system and health care that I, as a father and a family, can provide. That's how we're recruiting people, to a purpose. And so when you're looking at what Daniel Pink just mentioned, beautiful, what we built here at PHB is the last eight going on nine years, is that's what Patrick has allowed us the freedom to do, that we're not forced to a nine to five, but we're given the autonomy to work as much as we want to work, to work as least as we want to work, but at the same time, too, as well, if you say you want to do this, then your activity level or your production should reflect that this is a commitment that you're willing to come through with based on these numbers. If this is what you want to do, but your numbers are here, then you don't really want to do this. Your behaviors is a great mirror for you and for everybody with inside your company. Because if the behaviors were right, then guess what? Or behaviors were incentivized, guess what? Then it should be hitting these Top of numbers. There's a big reason why I believe that we've doubled in size long after we partnered up with Integrity Market Group after July of 2022. When the field advisory board of our company, we were incentivized to drive our respective companies with inside a company. And guess what? Collectively, guess what we did? We nearly doubled in size in less than two years. How does that happen? And by the way, we're not talking about a thousand to two thousand, two thousand, four thousand. We're talking about tens of thousands growing. We're talking about EBITDA growing in the multi, multi deca millions. We're not talking about a small company going from $100,000 income to $500,000, $500,000 to $1 million income. No, that's not us. And so when we're thinking about some case studies of effective sales incentive or incentive programs, period, let's take a look at a couple examples here. Let's take a look at Google. Their 20% time is legendary. They gave their employees one day a week to work on whatever they're passionate about, no strings attached. That kind of trust and autonomy led to some of Google's biggest products, Gmail, AdSense, and even Google News. When you give your team the freedom to innovate, they'll surprise you every time. Patrick has always given us the autonomy to be free to do what we want. Why? Because he believes in free enterprise. That's the mission of our company, to save America through the free enterprise system. Free to buy, free to sell, free to win. And here's the last one people don't like. Free to fail. It's a fail part that a lot of people don't like. It's getting the rejected part that people don't like. It's being set back that people don't like. Is having a public embarrassment that people don't like. But guess what? Those are the things that forces everybody to improve, to not get bitter, but to get better. And not only does your incentive program want to encourage people, but also your team culture, your company culture. I've taken many losses with inside the company. Matter of fact, my first year in the company, I took a humiliating loss. I was competing with a good friend of mine here in the, in the company, Jose Marlene Gaetan. I lost a contest. And I'm, I was trying to kind of walk away from it from paying up. <laughs> Because it's an embarrassing pay up. What's the pay up? I had to kiss his ring. <laughs> so not only did I pay up in our Puerto Vallarta Million Point Bay Shop retreat in December 2015, but I made sure I paid up in the most encouraging way possible. I got down on my knees, grabbed his wrist, put his ring in my mouth, and I French kissed the crap out of his ring. You know why? Because I wanted him to squirm away and, and not enjoy the moment, because I know he would, but I wanted to destroy the moment and also wanted to destroy the moment for me because... I don't remind myself that is the last time I ever lose a contest. That is the last time I ever get down my knees to cuss another man's ring. By the way, I had to come through with it because I agreed to it. I gave my word. I lost. I had to pay up. Embarrassing. Painful. Yeah, I'm smiling now, but I was pissed. But when I stood up, you know what stood up? What stood up was an awakened giant. And ever since then, I've taken on company records, company records, company records, and the reputation we have here at PHB Agency that my wife and I are known as the first two. The first to make 400,000 income, the first to 500,000, first to 750, the first to a million dollar income, first to two million dollar income, the first to a million point base, blah, 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 blah. Because of that moment, that incentive program, that company culture, it wasn't money that drove me, it was a public embarrassment that drove me. So think about that as you build your incentive plan.